Lifeguard Aquatics has upgraded its Promax UV and now offers an internal quartz sleeve locking mechanism. Um, previously, the quartz sleeve would be sealed on a um, viewport like this. This is the, the single threaded viewport. The upgrade adds three parts. Uh, instead of this, it has uh, dual threads. So threads on the outside, threads on the inside. In addition, there is a flat rubber gasket and a coupling that tightens it. So uh, we'll do a quick demo. Now keep in mind that uh, the, the UV quartz sleeve uh, external seal is still the same. It has a tapering on one end, flat on the other, and the tapering end goes first into the into the housing. So uh, and then the the flat gasket sits right here. So you can see it won't uh, this this won't fit here, or and this this one will go in, but it drops in. So you have to be careful when you install it. Just uh, make sure that the flat gasket goes where the flat gasket is supposed to go. All right. So by do a little demo. Uh, I'll start by installing the. Uh, flat gasket first. Once this slides in, um, keeping in mind the flat gasket goes uh, in the part where the uh, the groove is uh, thinner, uh, basically not so deep. This goes in, and you can see that you know it will it will fit in in this side. If if you do it by mistake on the other side, it's like too deep. So this is wrong. We'll install it here. This is the deeper end. Deeper end is where the outside sleeve uh, seals. Now again, keep in mind the tapering end goes in first. We'll put it in. Leave a little fine lip on the end of the of the quartz sleeve here. See, it it should it should sit in fine. Um, now, the you're familiar with the quartz bulb. Uh, the bulb goes into the quartz sleeve. Now, make sure that when you're doing all this. Uh, uh, wipe the bulb with alcohol swab so there's no fingerprints and same thing with the quartz sleeve it needs to be wiped before you start the setup process um, put in the power supply now the four pin connector uh, is is rectangular not square so if you install it like this you can damage it so keep it rectangular and press it in fits fine or oh, before this uh, you have to remember that the three inch um, that needs to go in first, otherwise it won't. You will have to re undo the whole thing again. Um, quartz sleeve goes in. Be be very careful when you're doing this step because here, you, if you are if you, if you um, are a little rough, you can crack the quartz sleeve. Then this uh, there is a rubber gasket that comes with the uh, like a round rubber gasket that comes with the ballast that goes on the inside. I've already installed it in here, so. That goes in the seals here, so you can see that it's pretty much sealing internally here. Um, there's a little rubber gasket here that gets pushed in, so there are multiple seals on Pro Max, so the bulb doesn't get contact with water or the water doesn't come out of the unit either. So this is very, very uh, in, in, like a good safety feature. Hand tighten. Do not use any kind of wrench. Hand tighten it, then gently twist it and see that the quartz sleeve should not have any movement. That means it's sealed. Now slide in the flat rubber gasket and just even it out then take the the nut that uh, the coupling that comes with it as an upgrade and, and just hand tighten that now what this does it, it it will seal the quartz sleeve on the inside this is sealing the quartz sleeve on the outside now once this is done your quartz sleeve ballast assembly is all done now you just take it uh, and gently slide it straight into the UV, it has to go into the groove, which is uh, on this end. There's a little pocket that the quartz sleeve slides into and sits so that it's straight in the center of the UV. Once this part is done, take the three inch rubber, uh, nut and tighten it. And there you go. You're good to go. Just check all the, all the, um, tight, all the couplings and make sure everything is sealed so there are no leaks. You're ready to plumb the UV. Thank you.